majority of Russian uh, people believe that Alexei Navalny has been killed by a coalition of the Ukrainian, British and American intelligence service uh, for the political purpose. Isn't it that this is a political assassination for which Vladimir Putin should be held accountable? Of course not. Uh, for Vladimir Putin, uh, this is uh, very uh, uh, not uh, good news uh, because uh, this news about uh, death of his uh, major political opponents, radical major political opponents, because the main opponents are communists for Vladimir Putin. And uh, this death will be used for the undermining of the credibility and the legitimacy of presidential elections, which will uh, happen exactly in one month from now, and on which, according to the uh, sociology, Vladimir Putin should uh, uh, win in the uh, first uh, round with about something about seventy-five percent. Well, whether, we, we don't know, we don't know very much. This. Yeah, we don't know very much at the moment about how uh, Alexei Navalny was killed or how he died. But we do know that he was imprisoned under incredibly tough conditions and that he was previously poisoned by the Kremlin regime. So it seems fairly clear that directly or indirectly, uh, Putin is responsible and the US president has said as much. Uh, I don't think Vladimir Putin was uh, is responsible for this uh, because, uh, first of all, uh, Alexei Navalny, as you may know, not only politician, but he also corrupted uh, businessman, as a lot of politicians, by the way, in many countries, uh, they're quite corrupt. It's uh, well known that Alexei Navalny was an economic advisor, business advisor to the uh, governor of Russian region uh, in uh, Kiev uh, uh, city. And uh, this uh, governor was also uh, have been uh, arrested and uh, now he is staying in prison, something about, I think, well, for eight years for the corruption. So well, Navalny, Navalny may, be a, may, be a, may have been a flawed man, but he didn't deserve to die. The reason he died was because he stood up to Putin and he stood up for what he believed in. Uh, no, as already mentioned, Vladimir Putin was uh, interesting, uh, of course, uh, uh, to keep uh, uh, Alexei Navalny alive, just uh, as uh, uh, good uh, evidence that uh, uh, political opponents uh, are not dying. And the fact that uh, uh, Navalny did, uh, by the way, I knew him personally, he was really bright, smart, very well educated uh, uh, person. And it's a very pity that uh, he uh, uh, did. Uh, but at the same time, as already mentioned, it's very much, very, very much not uh, good for the Vladimir uh, Putin uh, politics. So when you say it's not good for his politics, um, you think that, I mean, I mean, what, what are the implications now of the fact that his highest profile critic is no more? Uh, Vlad uh, Alexei Navalny was uh, not. Uh, he was uh, Alexei Navalny was regarded by Western uh, Western media, including your radio, as a real political opponent of Vladimir Putin. But ten years during ten, last ten years, it was not so. Uh, Alexei Navalny was a real opponent to the Vladimir Putin team 11, 12, 13 years ago when he was regarded as a representative of the young, well-educated, very uh, modern, uh, new generation of the politician. That's why he got 27% uh, of the uh, Moscow mayor elections. It's a very good result. But after Crimea joined Russia, Alexei Navalny was one of the few politicians who was uh, who didn't uh, support this idea. But 90 percent of the Russian uh, people uh, support Crimea joining Russia. After this, he was uh, already uh, lost a very big part of his uh, popularity. And also after Alexei Navalny, step by step, started to support Kiev regime, which is absolutely openly a uh, new fascist. Uh, well, uh, that, that's, that, that's, that's, a, that's a slander that's been disproved many times. But let me just ask you, do you think the outrage, let me just, let me just ask you, we're, we're very short time, Sergei Markov, I'm afraid. Might outrage over Navalny's death galvanize the US, the UK and Europe to ensure that Ukraine now has the weapons that it needs to see off Russia's invasion and it could actually backfire on Putin this? Uh, uh, you are very reasonable. That's why uh, I personally believe that it was occasional death, but majority of Russian uh, people believe that Alexei Navalny had been killed by a coalition of the Ukrainian, British and American intelligence service uh, for the political purpose. But, but I'd ask you a very different question, that 
that this outrage and the outrage about what has happened might actually mean that Ukraine gets the weapons from the West that Putin doesn't want them to have. Yes, it's another reason why Vladimir Putin very much uh, not uh, have well feeling about this death, because mm -hmm. this death will be used for the giving more and more weaponry to the uh, Kiev neo-fascist regime. And uh, also, this death will be used intensively by Western, list, uh, 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 by, uh, Western leaders for denying the legitimacy of Vladimir Putin's elections. Right. You may know that uh, these uh, Western leaders want that yeah. this whole world will uh, see Vladimir Putin not as legitimate leader of the uh, big uh, country, but as some kind of crime uh, with, uh, who is isolated and so on. And this of Alexei uh, Navalny will serve for this goal of uh, Western leaders. Sergei Markov, thank you very much for joining us.